we're going to build this a little bit out of sequence from what the instructions are telling us to do. The instructions start out with his body part, the upper body. But what we have to do because we're adding the electronics is put this lower leg part together. There are those two pieces had to go inside and we're going to glue the electric board right down on top of that. Along with the speaker, we'll, we get them fit the speaker in somehow and glue that into place so it doesn't vibrate or move around. So we just got to do, that's why you have to look at the directions of the electronics and the directions to the robot and figure out what's going to work best for you. We also have to think about the painting. You know, we'll put sections together and they have to be primed and then painted the proper color. Make sure you discharge any static charge you might have. Just touch something metal. Uh, before you touch the, the electronic board, this board, you don't want to uh, put a little shock through there. It'll, it will affect it. Um, now that board will be glued into this section. I mean, there's plenty of room for it. But there's not a lot of place for it to sit. So I'm going to cut a small piece of plexiglass and um, glue it in here from side to side just to give it enough platform for that to sit on. And then the speaker has to be secured in here. We'll figure that one out. We'll figure that one out. Okay, I got the circuit board fastened in to where in the leg compartment. There's plenty of room. Uh, the speaker's in there too. I don't know if you can see it down here in the bottom. Um, I just wedged it in there so it doesn't move. It's, um, it's, I tested it out. Everything's fine. Um, I now, th this is the next piece that goes over there. Let me bring you down there. This piece, see, it has the long parts on it. That fits into the legs and that's a, a, a piece between the legs and you know, the upper body part. Um, you have to drill holes in there to get your, your um, wire harness through. I drilled the next one in case I wanted to add something later. You never know. So um, we'll put that together. We'll run the wire through and then we can move on to the next step.
Well, here's our robot so far. It's coming along well. We um, have to stop at this point because we need to uh, do some priming. I haven't glued it together yet, so I could take it all apart and paint it. This bottom part, all the things that are in this color, this beigey color, I get a uh, prime. I'm going to use a dark prime on them, and then we're going to um, use a metallic color spray on it. And uh, even these parts here, I want to get a little bit of that metallic spray on it. Um, it'll give it a nice effect. As you see, the electronics are all in here. They, the voice is down here because there was plenty of room for it. And then up here. But you can see in these areas, there's going to be lights there. And they're going to uh, blink. We're going to use the... Um, we're going to use fiber optics to light those up. And um, I'll show you exactly how we're going to do that. Hold on. So the front panel on the robot, as you can see right here, these are different colored lights. So what we're going to do, because this is the panel part, right here what we're going to do is use a five minute epoxy and mix the colors in that epoxy and we're going to paint it on each one of these on the back side so when we do apply our fiber optic line it'll light that up that specific color and they blink just like they do on the, the robot on the tv series um that's going to take a while got to be very patient with that and this is cool this is the front part where it blinks red when he speaks you know that's it right there now his head also has lights in it and uh, we're going to be running some fiber optic up there also so stay tuned for that. We've got a lot to do, but at this point, um, we need to paint. We need to prime it up. Then we can start gluing it together and then start running our fiber optics, which will be interesting, to say the least. Okay.